What's up my friends, Dustin with Electrician U. Today we're doing a contest. All right, so the premise of the contest, obviously for those of you that are watching that have no clue what was going on, last week I said that if you put a video or if you put a uh, your favorite Klein tool under a video from last week saying whatever your favorite Klein tool was that you would be entered into a contest. Now this ended last Friday, so don't start filling this video with all kinds of stuff. It's so funny too, like people don't listen you can see from the comments what I said to do versus what a whole bunch of people did. And there was spam, there's so much crap to go through on this. I just think it's funny. I said, hey, put your favorite tool. And then a bunch of people were like, hey, will you send me the thing for free? Hey, I want that thing on the table for free. It's like, you just lost because you didn't listen to what I said. So pay attention, people. We're electricians, we're better than that. By the way, before I get into this, let me shed some appreciation as if giving thousands of dollars worth of tools weren't thank you enough. <laughs> thank you. Thank all of you. We're, um, we're coming up on, I think I've been doing this for like six years now, online, five, six years. Actually, almost seven. Damn, dude, it's time to retire. <laughs> but no, seriously, thank all of you guys and girls and everyone for all of the following, all of the support, all of the comments, all the hate, all the hate mail, I get some hate mail. I get some really D-bag comments below some of these videos, but it's all love, man. I appreciate all of it. Um, keeps me on my toes, keeps me learning and having to dig through things and find out information and go do stuff and meet with people and have conversations. So like the ability to do this, I'm so happy that I can do this and create a living off of it as meager as that might be, but I'm really happy and really appreciative um, for everything, for all of y'all. Um, we're rounding the corner of about 500,000 subscribers, so I'm really happy. I think in the next few months, we'll actually hit that 500K, so I might do another giveaway, um, more like, like sponsor input, uh, who knows? I don't know. I'm just trying to like think of something. I like giving stuff away, it's my thing. I like to give back. If I'm doing well, I like to like turn around and pull other people up. It's just my thing, that's my way. So without further ado, let me just break into this. It's probably gonna take long enough. Um, I will list all of the winners down below. So if you would like to just skip the whole thing and not have to watch this whole craziness um, and see if you actually won down below, I'm gonna have a whole list out um, of every one of these people. But if you're one of the people, make sure, listen to me right now, listen. If your name's below, you need to email support at electricianu.com and say, hey, I'm a winner. My name's on the video. Here's my address. I just need your address. You can leave your username on Instagram if you want um, or your actual name, but like you gotta give me the info or else you're not gonna get your stuff. So make sure you do that. All right, so let's just break into it. All right, so first on our list, we have this nice Klein button down shirt. All right, Joshua Mitchell. Mitchell. Uh, he says, for sure an awesome channel. And as of right now, I think my favorite tool so far is the Klein 32900 7-in-1 impact flip socket set that my boss gave me. If it ain't Klein, it ain't mine. Boom, I love that. That's a really great comment. You know what, for that, I'm also gonna give you a beanie. Because, you know, if it ain't Klein, it ain't mine. But if I give you this beanie, this is Greenly. I can't give you a Greenly beanie. There we go. Instead of a Greenly beanie, I'm gonna give you a Klein hat. Klein Klein, right? You don't wanna have a bunch of different brands mixed in there. So, you win a Klein hat and a, uh, a Klein shirt. When you email me, also email me your size, because I think I have a couple of these, but I might not actually have the size that you want, so you're just gonna have to deal with whatever I give you. All right, so, Joshua, thank you for your input. Also, that seven-in-one one impact, I really, really like that. Um, I'm a huge fan of like all combinations of tools. So if you can combine a bunch of different tools into one thing, so I'm carrying like seven tools with me, I love it. So I actually love what you put in there. I'm a fan of it as well. Next, we've got a Klein jacket. Um, I have one of these. Actually, like a few of my employees have these jackets as well. Um, so it's a, Kl a Klein like button down. Um, I don't know what the fabric is. I'm not like a fabric kind of guy. I don't know, it just says Klein. Anyways, it's a nice like kind of windbreaker sort of uh, like soft fabric. Um, so, Z Jalva. 
He said nine inch Klein diagonal cutters and the Klein five in one multi bit power driver is essential. Check it out. It's part number 32605. Then he put flathead Phillips square number two all in one. I don't run work without it. Appreciate that. Um, I'm the same. Again, putting multiple tools in one, uh, absolutely. And nine inch diagonal cutting pliers, like anything that you can get that's high leverage, you know, like a, a pair of high leverage pliers just makes your life so much easier. So if you like often use really short squatty tools, it's harder on your hands. So thank you, Z Jalva. All right, next up, I've got a couple of pairs of Klein safety glasses. Um, I actually like all of Klein's safety glasses. Um, I'm a huge fan of comfort and they don't have to look dorky. Like if they can look kind of, you know, like aerodynamic and sleek, why not, right? Like why can't we electricians pop our collar and like show up in style? So thank you, Klein. Uh, I'm gonna give you two sets. Owen Skirtle, Skirtall. Uh, he says, this is so awesome that you're doing a giveaway. I love the videos and they are super helpful. My favorite Klein product is the tape measure 25 foot magnetic double hook. Me too, dude. I love, Klein was the first person, or the first company I'd ever seen to do a tape measure that had printing on both sides. So like if you're using it over your head, you know, like you don't have to like try to twist the tape around to see what your measurement is. They actually had it on both sides and then having a double hook. So you have a hook up, hook down. Absolutely love it. And I kind of hated them at first, but magnetic tape measures, they were the bane of my existence when I first started out because I started out just doing resi. So I had this magnet. I just found it like stuck to everything all the time. And it was just a pain in the butt. But as I got more into like commercial and industrial work, I was like, dude, ha having a magnet on there is stupid not to do, right? Like it's so much easier to just throw something across and like hit a can and just hold it out in front of you. You don't even need your other arm. You can sit and write with your other arm because that thing's just going to hold up there. So I love magnetic tapes. Thank you for putting that in. And thanks for watching the video, my dude. Really appreciate that you are appreciative. <laughs> By the way, I do giveaways every year. So they kind of get bigger and bigger, it seems. <laughs> I end up putting like a ton of stuff in. It's usually around the holidays too. So uh, stay tuned. We've got Brad Snow. Brad Snow says, definitely Klein Tools K120 65 CR wire stripper cutter and crimper. Ah, uh, I don't like that tool. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a I'm not as much of a fan as that, uh, of that specific one. All right, Mr. Brad Snow. Let's go with these little fish tapes. I got five of these things. So the next five people are gonna be fish tapes. Brad Snow, you get a Klein glow in the dark 25 foot fish tape. Now, a lot of people might be like, ah, oh, dude, I don't want a 25 foot fish tape. Seriously, this thing is killer. Like this is one of those gangster things that I pull out very, you know, not very often. And it's something that I'm like using at a panel or something like close by where I don't want to get my big heavy tape and like pull all this crap out and like have to put it all back together. Having a miniature version to just like easily be able to work with and kind of fish like small things. If you're at like the very end of a pipe run or something like that, you just need to get something close to you. These things are so great and 25 feet. And if you ever have to go up in the attic and do something, Something, you're crawling through insulation you don't want to bring your big fish tape through so this is glow in the dark for addicts so when you drop it when you absolutely guarantee will drop it down into the insulation you can see it um, and it's so lightweight that you can take it up into the attic with you so these things are actually really dope I love them you got five of them all right so Brad Snow that's your first one um, yeah, the tool that you suggested it's a good concept like I, I don't hate it it's just that the, the handle style is not my favorite like ergonomics style. I like straight handles on all my tools. I don't like curvy handles. So I'm just being like picky on preference. Um, and then like twisting wire nuts. It's like, it doesn't do as good of a job as being lineman, lineman's pliers as lineman's pliers does. Um, and then to like strip with it, it's kind of weird to strip with. So um, it's not a bad tool. A lot of people really love it. It's just, I have a preference to use like these instead. So thank you for your suggestion. Really appreciate it. Boom, that one's down. All right, next up with another glow in the dark fish tape is Colton Breaker. He says, it sounds silly, but my favorite is still the plain wire strippers, category number 11055. Can't beat the basics. Dude, I absolutely agree. Like those are the OG. You know, when I first got into the trade, there wasn't all of these crazy variations and different sizes, of holes and all kinds of crazy stuff. There were like a few different versions of, of wire strippers and everybody had the blue handled Klein pair. 
Um, and that's what he's talking about. Just a regular kind of old school, true blue, uh, you know, curved handle wire strippers. Those are the first pair I ever had as well. So uh, can't hate on that. Go back to the basics, no, no issues there. It's very reliable. Robert Rotelli. Mr. Rotelli says, my favorite tool has been the Klein wire toner. I don't use it often, but it helps in older homes when you don't know what wire goes to where. I have a couple months left in trade school and whenever I would be unsure of a topic, I would go straight to your videos. My favorite videos are your troubleshooting and the field ones. Um, I feel like they help me so much and I will take the knowledge with me throughout my career. Thanks, dude, really appreciate it. Hope you can start your career out with something like this, especially since it says that you uh, use it in resi. Like this is something that you'll definitely use in resi. Um, also keep in mind the ones that I'm giving this, this is nylon. So this isn't something that you're trying to like ah, yank on and, and nick up and like break and stuff. Like this stuff is, it's plastic and it's really hard, good plastic. But uh, usually when I use nylon fish tapes, I save like a clean, good nylon fish tape just to be able to be used to fish in next to other conductors that are already in a conduit, you know, so that I'm not damaging this thing. It's, it's something that with a lot of the metal fish tapes, you're actually gonna damage the conductors and you're like jamming this metal thing through the, the, the pipe. Um, whereas nylon doesn't do that, it doesn't nick up the other conductors. So just something to keep in mind uh, with a nylon fish tape. It might be something that you wanna take care of. As with all of your tools, I'm always telling people like, really take care of your stuff, you know? Tools are expensive, so expensive. All right, next for a 25 foot glow in the dark fish tape is Sunny Golly. Uh, Galley? My favorite tool is the 7 in 1 Impact Flip Socket Set 32907. Uh, that's rad. If y'all like take a look at what that is, it's a, a set of sockets that you can flip around and it's two different sockets. So instead of having like one regular socket per piece, it actually gives you two different sizes. So when you flip the tool over, you have two different sizes per socket. That's rad. I like, I absolutely love that. Just smart. Um, less things you gotta be carrying around, more functionality out of the same one tool. I love it. All right, so thank you, Sunny. Next is Jeanette L. Uh, I think my favorite tool is the Klein hybrid pliers, the blue handled ones. It saves so much time when you're stripping out wires and then you have to twist them together. I'm a second year apprentice and when I first started out, I just had some regular linemen and some strippers. All right, Jeanette, here you go. Congratulations. All right, next up, we've got a couple of pairs of lineman's pliers. So uh, one of them is going to go to Ryan McAllister. He says, my favorite Klein tool is absolutely their voltage tester. Might seem obvious, but the NCV T1P works great for me. All right, calling that a voltage tester, I'm gonna let you get away with it. It's not a voltage tester. It's not testing a voltage. A voltage is a measurement between two things. And it gives you a number to show what the pressure is between those two points. That, that's a tick tracer. It's a non-contact voltage tester. I know it's telling you that there's a presence of power. It's not telling you that there's a, a voltage because again, a voltage is a measurement between two things. I hate when people use those tick tracers. I try not to use them because they're just, they're so like, and, and then it's not just like, I'm saying Klein's suck. I'm saying all of them across the board, they don't give you any accurate information to work with. So I'm just not a fan of them. People still get shocked when they use them because they don't use them right, don't know how to use them. Um, so I'm just not a fan of like tick tracers in general. I do use them, but it's like if I'm in a junction box and I've got somebody flipping a breaker on and off and I've already tested power with a multimeter and I know what is what, I'll hold that thing up there because it's a good indicator of like it's on or it's off. So when they flip the breaker off, it's it stops squealing at me and then they turn it back on start squealing it. That's how I use it. But I only use it to like test the presence of power on or off. And then I always pull out an actual multimeter or a tester and like measure value, start getting numbers because I'm an electrician. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. New, uh, new set of clients for you. All right, next we got Ryan Wilkes. Uh, the Klein 11-in-1 screwdriver is one of my go-tos, me too. I actually, I think I use the 6-in-1 more than I use the 11-in-1. Um, they have a magnetic 11-in-1, that's really awesome. So like everything is magnetic on the inside of it. I thought that was really rad. Then uh, Ryan also says, grab that, strippers, and a pair of linemans. Good to go for most things, I agree. Ah, multimeter, come on, man. 
Come on, man. You gotta have that multimeter in you everywhere you go. Actually, like a, a thing like this would be really great because you could just put this. Well, but then that's three things you gotta carry. But usually, like when I was out doing commercial service work, I always put a plug tester in my front pocket. I would keep this thing because I had a like actual um, breast pocket. <laughs> I would keep that thing in there next to my pen. And then I actually had a voltage tester rather than a DMM. Um, so I would keep like my voltage tester in my back pocket. And then I would, you're right, grab a pair of Kleins and an 11-1 and boom, I got that's all I need for the rest of the day. So, uh, thanks for your input. You get a pair of Kleins and you get a pair of Kleins and you'll get a pair of Kleins. Derek uh, says, Hey Dustin, huge fan of the channel. I just started my first electrical job and by far my favorite client tool is the 7-in-1 Impact Flip Socket Screwdriver. I have one of those. It was really interesting. The first time I saw one, I was like, that's hokey as hell. Nobody's gonna use that. And then I didn't have my socket set out. I didn't like go to my van and get it. And I looked over and this guy I was working for, or working with, I looked over at him and he was holding it out to me with a big old smile on his face. I'm like, damn it. And I pulled it out and used it and I was like, all right, this thing's pretty fucking rad. So uh, I'm I'm with you on that. It's just huge and like <laughs> crazy looking, you know what I mean? Like I don't want to put it in my tool belt, but uh, if you do, you don't have to go to your truck and get your whole socket set. So you get a pair of Milwaukee uh, Comfort Grip Crimping Pliers. I actually really like these. Um, I keep a set of like crimpers that look exactly like this. I don't like the cheap like, uh, like thin metal, like, I don't know, just crappy sets of crimpers. I like a stout, thick crimper with a high leverage handle so I can really wrench down on that and make sure that it's crimped really, really well. And I like that it's got a cutting edge on it. It's really stout too. It's not like a thin, crappy little, you know, chintzy crimper. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of different brands that make kind of crappy crimpers, but these are heavy duty, they're stout, good cutting edge on them. And they do uh, outside and inside crimps. So there you go. Derek, thank you for your comment. So we're gonna do a seven piece precision Weeha tool set and a four piece um, precision, pretty much the same thing. Just one of them's thou uh, thousand volt rated, 10,000 volt tested, which is why it is red and yellow. And the others are just general use. They're not necessarily electrically rated, um, but they're still great. So you've got all kinds of different sizes of flathead and Phillips that are you know large. Then you've got small, and you've got like incredibly super duper small. I love these things. Um, and then same thing on this one. You've got a square, a Phillips, and a flathead, um, and it's thousand volt rated. So who's this gonna go to? All right, Trevor Wyatt. You get to win these. Hopefully it's midnight Pacific Standard Time. Merry Christmas to all and sounds uh, and good luck to everyone. Just got Klein 55470 stand up zipper bags. Surprisingly nice for sockets and other tools and you, constant, uh, you constantly have to dig to find the right one like wrenches. All right, somebody threw a bag in there. I didn't expect people to be like, my favorite Klein tool is a zipper bag. <laughs> Next up is gonna be safety glasses. These are two pairs of safety glasses, but they are the Pro Gasket Safety Glasses. So these actually have like gasketing on the inside where the, the, the glasses like touch your skin. Um, and they're really like good form fitting. They're anti-fog, anti-scratch, or scratch resistant, not anti-scratch. Uh, one of them is tinted and one of them's not. So you got your daylight and your, your uh, um, indoor options essentially. Let's see who we've got. Irish Man Dan 0027. Uh, all right, so he says lineman pliers have to be the best ever. I like the J2 0008 uh, model personally. Me too. I use them all day, every day. Uh, the the lineman's pliers that are like the journeyman style have a little bit of extra insulation. It's like thicker insulation, and I just find the ergonomics of that better. I like the feel of them in my hand uh, more than I like the dip set. So, dip set. All right. So congratulations, you win two pairs of rad uh, Klein safety glasses. All right, next we've got a pair of gloves and a Klein knee pad. These things are actually really nice. I have a, a guy that used to work for us that um, carried these things around because he had like a bad back. So when he kneeled down, like it helped to have something soft or he was just a wuss, I don't know. That, that might be it. Acer A, A-S-E-R, A. He says, uh, favorite tool, 
the fucking advanced circuit tracer kit model ET450 probably made me $2 every time it's beeping. <laughs> I would love to get a new. Uh, thanks for all the entertainment and lessons. I wish you a great holiday and many emergency calls during the holiday. Don't wish me many emergency calls during the holiday. I'm taking those back and giving them somebody else. That's not cool. I'm just kidding. I won't do that. All right, next up is epistemophiliac. I really like my Klein level super strong magnet. Makes pipe bending convenient. Also been convenient for finding studs when the stun fighter is nowhere to be found. Yes, I love my Klein levels too. The uh, orange ones are the ones that I have that are metal, super strong magnets on them. They have a zero degree, 90 degree, 45, 30. Um, so like you can pretty much do anything that we would do with them, but I, they're my, it's my favorite level. Like I'll never have another level the rest of my life. Actually, I've got so many levels, <laughs> but the only one that I use is my Klein. Uh, that little shouty is my favorite. So uh, you get two things. You get a Klein um, Yeti style mug. It's not actually Yeti, I don't think. I don't even know what the brand, it just says Frost. But uh, Klein Tools mug, pretty nice for your coffee in the morning. And then uh, you get one of these inspection pen lights with a laser on it. Everything with lasers on it is my favorite everything. So like when they put a tick tracer with a laser on it, that's the one I want. I don't care about the one with the flashlight. I've got all kinds of flashlights. I got a phone, I got a, like a million flashlights. But having a laser pointer attached to something, dude, love it. Because as I'm running a job, if there's like a 30 foot ceiling in a commercial job and I'm sitting down here talking to my apprentice or I'm yelling to somebody that's on a scissor lift up top and they're like, what are you talking about? Where do you want me to put the strap? And I'm like, Bing, right there. Go from here, go over here, run this over here, blah, 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 blah. They can see everything that I'm talking about. It's like extending my body like across a room. Oh God, I love these things. And the lights on these are really good. Let's see how many lumens it is. 70 lumens. The light is 70 lumens. That's not a lot of lumens. But the laser itself is pretty dope and it's got a little pen clippy thing so you can stick it in your pocket if you want to be all fancy. All right, next we're giving away a 12 piece slim line blade set with belt selector. That doesn't seem what the, like what this is. It's like a, they're just like torque bits that you put on a drill. But why do they call them blade set with belt select? Well, cause it's not made, it's made in Germany. This is a German company. Um, so instead of calling it, instead of calling it like a bit set, they call it a blade set with belt selector. It actually clips on your belt. So like, boop, you can wear it like that and pull out all your bits. I don't know. Kind of cool. A little hokey maybe. Um, and then also Bluetooth job site earbuds, um, uh, made by Klein. I haven't got to use a pair of these and I'm actually really, really interested to see, uh, if they're quality or, or what's up with them. And also we're going to throw in something extra. Um, because neither of these are really that awesome, like by themselves. Uh, so we've got the M18 LED stick light. So uh, hopefully you have Milwaukee batteries. And if you don't, you should, because Milwaukee's power tools are fantastic. Um, and this is a really good light. I actually have one of these. It's got this nice little hook on the top so you can hook it up in an attic if you're working. This thing twists forward and backwards. You can set it down. You can just like throw it up somewhere, kind of move the light where you want to. So it's really awesome. So all three of these things are going to Jack the Ripper 87. Just started a new job as an electrical, uh, as an uh, industrial electrician at a steel mill. Now my favorite tool would have to be the Klein CL110 clamp meter. I use it every day. Um, I agree, that's a killer meter and it's a low price point and it's great quality and a low price point and it gets you clamp on and meter voltage tester, still gets you continuity resistance, you know, everything that you want for a good price point. You don't have to spend $200 on a meter. It's super reliable. So usually for like brand new apprentices that are broke, I always tell them this is a good meter to start with. Like this is your, a perfect, thing so you're not killing the bank and you can start learning how to use all this stuff but i i completely agree with that all right and then next we have angel almanza how's it going bud love your content i pretty much have all the tools that i need except for a good clamp meter and or a circuit breaker finder boom got you a circuit breaker finder my dude enjoy the holidays bud and keep up the awesome work you always do appreciate you homie so gonna send that basically you just plug this guy in 
follow the wire out. It's even got the GFCI test on it. It's got the lights just like a normal <clears throat> plug tester is gonna have. Let's you know if it's wired correctly or not. But Merry Christmas back at you. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for participating. All right, next we've got the Klein uh, 32 ounce ball peen hammer. Dude, 32 ounce hammer, that's hardcore. Like I usually use a 24, uh, 22, 24, 26, I think. Yeah, 32 ounces, this thing's top heavy as hell. So for any like metal work that you do, you might be working with steel or anything like that, or you just like hitting holes, circular holes in walls. Uh, hammer as well as a job site rechargeable battery. It is a 13,400 milliamp uh, battery and it's got a light on it. So as it shows on the back of this, you can flip it up. It's got like a little kickstand thing. Um, lets you set it up and like use the light. I love these things. So you get both of these. Uh, who is you? Realized I didn't pick someone first. Uh, so Hellbound 1906 says a good tape measure is always a plus, but for those times when it's just impractical, the compact laser distance measure 93 LDM 100 C is just enough to help. Uh, that is the 33 foot laser distance measure. So it's like a digital thing. It's got a little laser on it and you can point it at something and it shoots the distance across. So congratulations, my dude. Next up, we've got at just so so at, at sign just comma so so with two A's. <laughs> All these people just like weird usernames. Why can't you just be like Steve? You know, like my username's Steve. That one's easy. All right, it says what's up, electrician? You such a huge fan from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Dope. I'm in Austin. Uh, about to take my J-Man test up this upcoming year and you've contributed with all your knowledge. I really want uh, some, or I really, you're really someone I looked up to when it comes up to electrical. There's one tool I've been wanting really bad, the ET310 digital circuit breaker finder with GFC outlet tester. Oh, you mean one of these guys? Merry Christmas, dude, you win a tool. All right, so we've got a MM320 digital multimeter. It's got every setting you could want to deal with. Um, make sure that you mess with the leads. Some of the leads will do s stuff on here and if you switch the leads, it won't work anymore. So if you've never used a DMM before, they're a little bit different than a voltage tester or what we just call a tester where it's one knob and three settings or four settings. Um, also comes with a plug tester that has a digital display. I love this. So you're not just sticking something in and getting a light like a tick tracer would give you. You're actually getting values, you're getting numbers. Um, and it lets you know if things are correct, if you know, if GFI, all kinds of different things like that. Plus you got a tick tracer that has a flashlight on the end of it. Well, of course there's no battery in it, dummy. <laughs> so from Chris, oh man, it's a tough one between my circuit breaker finder and my fan, but on account that no one's picked it yet and it's always envied and asked about by my peers, I'm gonna choose the Klein PJS FM1 which is a rechargeable personal job site fan. Dude, that's rad. I didn't even know that was a thing. Like I know other brands have like fans, you know, like you can stick a battery in it from like one of the other you know, power tool companies. Um, but this thing has a little charging cable. You plug it in, charge it, and it's got a clip on it. So you can just clip it up and have like a little fan on you. That's down here in Texas, you know how many times I would have used that if I would have known that I had that? Klein, hook a brother up. Fans, man, fans are where it's at. Down here in Texas, bruh. Even if you're just like sitting inside of a cab of like, um, or not the cab, like if you're sitting in like a, a mini X and you're digging all day long, just having something to clip on right there and just blow on you, oh man. Up in attics, under houses, all of it. All right, we've got Fival West. Faval, maybe, not Fival. <laughs> Fival Goes West. Maybe that's what he was trying to accomplish. Y'all remember the cartoon Fival Goes West? It's spelled differently, so. He says Klein Tools 5240 tool pouch, Tradesman Pro Maintenance tool pouch with nine pockets is my favorite. All right, I like the 13 pocket, but I see where you're going. I load only my most important essentials in there and I always, and I'm always ready to go. Unlike my carry tote or book bag or anything of that size, I always just seem to overload and drag around a ton of unnecessary weight when I can do 90% of the jobs with just my clip-on tool pouch. I agree, man, minimize. So for all of y'all, they're like just getting into the trade and you're seeing people around you with these crazy huge bags and they're putting their drills and they're like putting, you know, like 47 hammers and they're just trying to carry all this. 
your back's gonna be broken about four years, homie. So you don't need to do all of that. Keeping tools on you, yes, is important, but if you can try to minimize the amount of tools you have to carry, because you have a bunch of things that are combination tools, and you focus on getting lightweight things and only using certain, like loading yourself up for what you're going to be doing and leaving all the other crap in a bag and bringing a bag and your tool pouch with you. That's the best way to go about all of this. Everything that you don't wanna carry, you're in the bag. So you can go back to the bag, get more stuff, kind of retool yourself and keep going. You're not having to go back and forth the truck, but you're also not killing your back wearing 40 pounds of tools. So, very good comment. You get a multimeter kit. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind, dude. Because you seem like you've been doing this for a little bit, I'm gonna give you a uh, a nicer multimeter instead of all of the things you probably already have. Um, so this is an auto ranging uh, MM450. What I like about this is it's super slim line. This is all just the case, but like this thing's so skinny and the leads go on the side instead of going on the bottom. So I just like that about it a lot more. Uh, I really, really like this thing. And the slim line thing might be kind of like hokey that it's slim line and like that's the selling point of it. But I actually love that about it. I love that it's not like a big bulky DMM. So there you go, dude. Thanks for the comment. All right, next is trying for life. Uh, says, love my 55421BP-14 tool bag backpack. This thing fits everything and carries so well on the back. I agree, I love backpacks. Uh, when I was doing service work exclusively, I would keep that backpack and I kept one more carry bag and I'd go get a shopping cart. <laughs> if I was going into a building, I would throw bag in the shopping cart, throw the backpack in the shopping cart, go in with me, and then if I had to split out somewhere, I would carry that thing um, by itself or, or whatever. But if I didn't have a cart, then just having the backpack was always awesome. I like when there's like a little tape measure clip on it, then I can take my drill that's got that, that little hook on it, and I could stick that thing on there so the drill just hangs, so I don't have to put the drill in the actual bag and make it heavier. But yeah, I'm a fan of tool backpacks for sure when you're doing service work. Doing construction, I feel like they're not as practical. Still, I mean, they're still practical. That can be your carry bag. It's just instead of having one that you carry like this into a job, you're carrying one like this. But yeah, I'm a big fan of them. Just be careful with the zippers. Always, like if you overload them, a lot of times the, the failure point where the bag becomes useless to you completely is the zippers. If you're stuffing them and cramming them too much, then those zippers end up like getting stuck and then break and then, you know, like, they'll they'll never actually zip. You'll just keep putting the zipper and they never actually put the zipper things together. Um, that happened to me a lot. So, or like the handles break off of them or they get crushed or something like that. So just be careful with your zippers on your backpacks. Anyways, uh, so you get a tester kit. All right, Brody. Love watching the videos, helps me learn more and more as an industrial JW journeyman worker out of LU 479, so union guy. Oh, you don't get to win anything, union guy. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Love the carbon fiber hard hat, me too, that thing is rad. And also my go-to screwdriver is the two-in-one insulated screwdriver that they make. Cool. Um, let's see, industrial, I'm gonna give you one of these too. Yeah, these things are really rad. So this is the MM450, same thing that I just talked about. We've got our Ricky Rhino. Hi Dustin, my favorite is the Klein nine inch lineman's pliers with the crimping feature. Not having to grab a separate crimping tool while splicing wires is huge. Keep up the good work. Cool, man. Um, I agree. We're gonna go with an electrical test kit. There you go. All right, next we'll do Bluetooth speaker. David Salinas. Hey Dustin, my favorite Klein tool is the circuit breaker finder. Makes it so much faster and easier to find the breaker I need to turn off. Uh, yeah, to turn off. Appreciate all the knowledge you share. Uh, really helps as a starting apprentice. Cool, man. Here you go. You get a Bluetooth speaker with magnet and hook. Oh yeah, that's the cool thing about this. Magnetically sticks to stuff, so you bump jams like wherever, commercial environment. Um, but it also has a hook if you're in resi. Stick a little nail. Hook this thing on it. Um, yeah, and it's chargeable, USB-C. Really cool speaker. Congrats! All right, next up, let's go with these two. We're gonna do a Klein hammer, 15 inch hammer, 18 ounce. Um, damn, that actually kind of feels heavier. I think it's because of the way that the balance of it is. Yeah, like look how high up the pivot point of the balance of this thing is. 18 ounces though is pretty light. Um, it's got a smaller head on it, so it's not like a huge bulky uh, head. I personally like huge heads on my hammers. Um, 
more <laughs> more possibility of hitting what you're hammering um, than uh, than having a small head on it. But I know some people that actually really really love this this the small head on this thing, um, and it's not waffled; it's smooth, so you're not going to be like damaging your wires when you're stapling stuff. And a 14 in one adjustable screwdriver. This thing's cool because it comes with all of these bits and this thing just like pops open and pops closed. This thing snaps in so you can have a really long uh, bit on it or you can slide it in further and further and further. You just push the front of this down and slide the bit in it and it snaps into place. So it can end up being like a really short one or it can end up being a really long screwdriver and it's got a whole bunch of different bit options. You've got three different sizes of Phillips, you got three different sizes of flats, Torx, uh, Robbies or squares, uh, quarter inch, five sixteenths nut drivers. So like really, really cool tool to have. So both of these are going to go to whom? Tyler Frank. Of all of the tools I've used, I really like my Klein ratcheting seven in one stubby screwdriver. Dude, stubbies are the best. And the uh, seven in one, I love it because there's multiple bit options too. So yes, uh, if you don't know what they're talking about, stubbies are like really, really small screwdrivers. So like if you're working on a ceiling fan and the fan's like, you know, uh, up near the ceiling and you're trying to get your hand like between the fan and the canopy to get those two little stupid screws out that they always put to keep the canopies on, it's really nice to have like a small stubby screwdriver because otherwise you can't get a drill or a screwdriver in there. So they, they save uh, time in a pinch. Uh, thank you, dude. Thanks for watching. Here you go. Here's some some free Merry Christmas for ya. All right, let's give these Weeha sets away to somebody too. So this is thousand volt rated. You've got a Lyman's pliers, a uh, diagonal cutter. Sorry that I'm flipping you off. I just now realized that. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, and then we have a, line, a needle nose pliers. And so all of these are thousand volt rated. So very similar to Klein's, uh, you know, specifically if you're working on doing hot work, um, you can use these on live circuits. So full kit, um, we've got two of them, so I need to pick two winners. All right, S-X-E-E-D, succeed, 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 that's pretty clever. Canada boy. Hi Dustin, Canadian apprentice here. Just finished my second year of training and moved to third year. I found your earlier tutorial videos super helpful and got me started on the right track. My most useful tool and favorite tool from Klein is the 11 in one magnetic screwdriver. Have the thing on me almost at all times. Keep up amazing videos and have a happy holidays. So my dude, you get a, oh, whoa. There's actually two different sets. I didn't realize, I thought they were the same thing. So you get the insula uh, insulated pliers and cutters set. All right, we got Thomas Luciano. I'm a senior in high school and currently work for an electrical company and joining an apprenticeship program and I'm excited to start a career as an electrician. Cool, well, I'm gonna give you some new tools to start out. These are Weha, they're all uh, insulated as well, thousand volt rated so you can work on live equipment. But you've got the uh, Phillips, two different sizes of Phillips, three different sizes of um, flat screwdrivers. So um, I have a set of these, pretty nice. Handles a little weird comp like compared to Klein. Um, Klein, you know, like the whole tool is flat, like uh, like a cylinder or tube. So these things, the only weird thing about them is the shape of the ergonomics of them. It's not weird or like bad, it's just different, you, like compared to using Klein stuff. So um, hope you like this. All right, Joshua Vasquez, Vasquez, Vasquez. <laughs> Joshua Vasquez. Gotta love my Klein everything. Yeah, I know, dude, me too, right? Like all of this stuff is me being a kid in a candy store. Oh, I still have all these hard hats to give away too. Damn, I gotta get moving. Um, all right, gotta love, oh, uh, I'd say my favorite tool is their tape measure 9225. Um, it's a bit bulky, but its toughness is second to none. Strong magnet tip in the clutch and when you're measuring out uh, or even when you drop something, you can just extend the tape down and pick it up. Yeah, dude, that's gangster as hell. I do that all the time. If I've got a magnetic tip screwdriver and I'm up on a scissor lift and I drop a bit or I drop like a coupling or something, it's just like, shoom, send that thing down there, pop, pull it back up, saves the day. All right, you get an 11 piece insulated torque control set. So this is a, um, a torquing screwdriver that has different tips basically. So it's like an 11 in one screwdriver that also has a torquing feature on it. Um, for torquing all of you terminations. So there you go. Congrats, bro.
All right, Matthew says, gotta love the Klein toner. Would never have found the GFI hidden in the garage that was feeding two bedrooms. Dope. All right, Matthew, you win a uh, electrical tester kit. Let's see, we've got these two circuit trackers. Tra cir circuit trackers. All right, Rupert, uh, R-E-W-P-E-R-T, says Klein 14-in-1 screwdriver. The thing comes in clutch for every situation. And instead of filling your pouches with everything you need, you have one driver to do it all. Totally agree. Here you go, here's a circuit seeker circuit tracer, digital circuit breaker finder, whatever you want to call it. All right, Real Lunacy, my favorite Klein is the J215-8CR. Uh, that is the gray handled kind of combination. Um, it's got like, a, it's like a lineman's pliers, but it's also got the strippers in the middle of it and it's got like bolt cutters in it. I actually like this tool the least, I think, out of all of the different lineman player options, especially combo, only because they have short handles. So it's like having a pair of lineman's pliers that you can't cut anything with because the handles are so short, there's no leverage behind them. I'm just not a fan. Some people are, some people like absolutely love these things. Uh, I just, there's other options I like much better. But it is a great my, uh, like hybrid tool. So here you go, my dude, you get a uh, ET310 breaker finder. Let's give these crazy like stormtrooper knee pads away. These things are actually really rad. They hinge so you can see like it supports on your th your uh, your thigh and it's like hard like uh, you can it's heavy duty basically. It's not like some weak gel sort of knee pad. Like this thing's going to take anything you give it. Uh, and it's just got like extra support on it. So, these things are awesome. Uh, the Klein heavy duty hinged knee pads. Um, yeah, they also have some like gel padding too. So like, I don't know, just really comfortable. Um, they Velcro, but they also have this clip thing. Like most of Klein's new um, knee pads all have this like clip snap sort of thing. So on these, this model, not all of their models do this, but they have the part that you Velcro on behind you. And to get it tighter, you have this extra strap that's adjustable and it's like just, snaps in place. So, Tyler Loveland, Loveland, the Klein Tools 93LC LS laser level has been extremely helpful. It saved me many hours on lighting layouts. Yes, dude, laser levels are the bee's knees. Um, I especially like like the 360 laser levels that have like a cross line. Um, that'll do like, uh, you know, vertical line all the way down the room. They'll do a horizontal line around the room and then they do a line out in front. So you have three different planes that this thing's able to do in. Um, that ends up helping so much. Like I've had laser levels that have just a singular dot on them or they only do one plane. And it's cool, but it's not as helpful if you're laying out cans to be able to have a cross up on the ceiling that goes across the entire room in every, in 360 degrees, dude, you can line up cans all the way down a hallway. You can line up cans that are lined up this way in a room and then you can you know, like put the crosshairs on one can and it also lines all the way down that way. I, dude, I'm just a super fan of, of the uh, laser level or uh, the cross line lasers, laser levels, whatever they're called. Um, you get some knee pads. All right, Jose Salinas Campillo. Uh, love this channel and my favorite Klein tool is the multi nut driver 32801. Saves me some carrying weight. All right, so I'm gonna start doing all of these tape measures. These are various different DeWalt or Stanley tape measures. Um, this is a 16 inch. Um, I actually really like, like everything that's Fat Max isk, Fat Max, Fat Ma Fat Max esque. Oh my God, that was so hard to say. Um, but like this feels like a Fat Max, you know, um, which is Stanley. I know this is DeWalt, but they have a very similar feel. Also has numbers on both sides, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, not magnetic, which a lot of people don't like um, anyways. So this thing, it sucks back in so fast and so hard. Um, really like it. Priest out. And it's 16 feet. A lot of people don't like 16 foot tape measures. Like, I gotta have the 30 footer. Like, no, you don't, man. No, you don't. <laughs> you can have the 30 footer out in your truck or in your bag when you like need to lay out that one room at that one job th three months ago. Um, 
depends on what you're doing, right? Like a lot of times people are like, well, I do sight work. And it's like, yeah, if you're doing sight work, you're gonna have a hundred foot tape, you know, or you're like, I don't know. So uh, people that like crap on 16, in, or 16 foot tape measures, it's stupid because they're lightweight, they're smaller, like they just fit in things so much better. I actually really like 16 footers, even though I use a 25 footer pretty much everywhere I go. So anyways, here you go. Uh, 16, we've got three of these, 16 foot DeWalt. Tough series. Oh, there's a removable magnet. Dude, there's even a magnet thing in here that you can put on to make it magnetic. Oh yeah. Um, so you get a tape measure. Hooray! All right, then we've got James Ryan. Dustin, man, love the videos. Been watching you since you started Journey to Master. I've been an electrician for six years. Just got my journeyman's license this year. Holy crap. Back in the Journey to Master days, y'all don't even know, some of you, that I have another channel called Journey to Master that I started, and that's where I started making content. And then this electrician you thing just kind of grew out of that. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite uh, current tool, but my oldest Klein tool is the Klein Amp Multimeter CL100. Yeah, I've had one of those in the past as well. Um, good clamp on ammeter. So, dude, thank you for following the journey since the beginning of my journey, and uh, you get a tape measure. Actually, since you're an OG, I'm gonna give you a multimeter too. This is a really good multimeter too. So, uh, appreciate it, MM450, you'll love it. I'm gonna send you both of these. See, that's what you get for following my journey. <laughs> All right, next up for a tape measure, uh, Andrew Griffith, ratchet cutters for sure. I've used other brands, but by the time I cut a few runs, my hands are totally worn out, but Klein's ratchet cutters are so easy to use. All right, we got a couple others over here. Let's get rid of the tape measures. I'm gonna burn through these really quickly rather than reading out everybody's thing. We've got Michael Guppy. Uh, favorite tool was a uh, 32900 impact flip socket seven and one. You get a 25 foot DeWalt tough with the magnet attachment. Robert, just old, just regular Robert. <laughs> hey Dustin, I love all your videos because they're very informative, still very new to uh, Sparky and my favorite Klein tool is the 19.5 inch Tradesman Pro Organizer Toolmaster Backpack, dope. Oh, JL Game Design, my favorite Klein too is by far the diagonal cutter that came with the five tool apprentice kit. Dope, you get a new tape measure. This is the Stanley Fat Max 16 footer. Uh, dude, I love Stanley Fat Max. One of my favorite tape measures. And watch this just like violently snaps back. Such good tape measures. William Oro, hey Dustin, uh, favorite Klein would have to be the 1500 watt portable power station. That's a good one. That's something not a lot of people have put on here. But when you got temp power on a job site and you need to be able to charge stuff, uh, that's a killer tool. So you get a Stanley Fat Max 16 foot tape measure. All right, we got good old Sparky from Massachusetts. Um, has an apprentice that has minimal tools. Dude, cool. You didn't even really say what your, oh yeah, circuit tracer. There's Klein circuit tracer is his favorite tool. Um, so 25 foot Stanley Fat Max. Did I say 16 foot a minute ago? Oh, it's got a 16 foot reach. Meaning it'll reach out 16 feet. Wow, that's really, really far. I might actually keep this, I don't know, man. So yeah, sorry, um, The it's 25 foot, 16 foot breaking point, essentially. That's dope. All right, we got one left. Michael R says that his favorite client tool is the extended reach multi-bit screwdriver nut driver model 32559. Dude, I love those too. Here's a tape measure for you. For free! Okay, we're getting down to the last ones. So now we've got the uh, safety helmets or the hard hats. I never would ever call this thing a safety helmet. It's just on the box. So uh, let's start. We got three blue ones, three white ones. Cool thing is that they come with a little light and this thing, this whole thing just detaches. You can charge it, snap it back in. There's another place on the back of it. So if you have another attachment, you can have one on the front, one on the back. Um, that way, if it's like, a, if you got like a red blinking safety light or something like that, depending on what kind of job site you're working on, um, it's got that. So uh, really comfortable too. They're shaped like a um, bike, or like a like a BMX kind of like helmet. You know what I mean? Instead of it being like this crazy, stupid, round, silly hard hat looking thing, these things look like you could go snowboarding with them. So I really like the whole new design that Klein's got on all of them. So we need to pick six names. We're gonna go three blue, three white. 
Dalton Turner, Home Depot has a Klein 11 in one impact rated screwdriver and using like crazy um, because it has the quarter inch head and the 5 16 as well as the Phillips in the flat. Cool, congrats, you have a hard hat. A blue one. All right, then we've got Migdeal Bas Bas Basoko. As of right now, my favorite tool is the Klein Tools uh, Advanced Circuit Breaker Finder. First time I saw it was in your video from the Nika convention. Cool, dude, thank you for watching that. Um, sorry I couldn't give you one of those because I already gave them to somebody else, but you get a hard hat. Brad. All right. Um, Skillet says the fa <laughs> my favorite product is the Klein knee pads. That's your favorite of all Klein's catalog. Your favorite is knee pads? All right, dude, I'll give it to you. Here's your hard hat. Gage Dykes, Klein 6-in-1, extended multi hands down, best screwdriver Klein makes. You get a hard hat. Here's a good one. Ryan Graham, my favorite tools from Klein would be the steel conduit benders that they make. And he likes their circuit tracers too. Klein makes great conduit benders. So if you don't have some half inch, three quarter, one inch, uh, I keep a Klein set on me all day, every day. LX Martinez 2000 said, without a doubt, because I use them on a daily basis, Klein side cutters and the beater flathead screwdriver are my favorite tools. Yeah, uh, I love those too. He must be talking about the one that's actually designed to be a beater that's got the, um, the the metallic top on it. So when you beat on it, it's not gonna crack like a lot of the other tools do over time. Actually, Klein tools, all of their screwdrivers take a beating extremely well. I gotta say, like it takes a long time before you end up cracking and destroying them. And it takes a lot of beating on them over a very, very, very long time. Like they just handle it really well, but they do make a beater screwdriver that is specifically meant to beat on it. And it's got a kind of reinforced metallic shiny top on it. So uh, LX Martinez 2000, you get a hard hat. Now, the last few items here, these are specifically for Discord members. Um, so I'm gonna go through, they have their own thread in a kind of uh, channel on our thing where they actually can put like pictures and posts up uh, of what the tools that they are, that they like. Undisputed athlete, bro, I didn't know you were in the server. I have seen you in probably YouTube comments, maybe Instagram. I know your name and you always got like muscle flex pictures and you actually corrected my form when I was doing uh, leg lifts, I believe. And you told me like not to go so deep into it. Dude, I appreciate it. So uh, thanks for being a contributing member. I'm going to give you the insulated Klein tool set. He says he has the nut driver. It's like the flip set nut driver, but it's the uh, driver version, not the drill impact socket version, um, which is a really cool tool, but undisputed underscore athlete. Thanks, dude. And thanks for like following for as long as you have. Seriously, um, you've been around the block with me and I appreciate it. All right, so these last four things, um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. And um, these are from the barbecue brews and electrician use that I had with Klein after Nika. They had a whole private event. They put together some gift bags and I added a couple things to the gift bags. So there's a, a multi, um, like a multi kit in here with a whole bunch of different tools in it or like a, sorry, testers. There's a um, tape measure, dual tape measure, lineman's pliers. There's one of these like laser flashlight things. There's two pairs of safety glasses. There is a commemorative Klein Tools like coin thing that also says Barbecue Brew and Electrician U. And then there's a deck of cards that are like Electrician U cards that they put together. So, all right, next up we've got Zombie Hedgehog. Another name that I've seen around for a very long time. Appreciate everything, dude. Thanks for being around. It says, I love the thin wire strippers, uh, great grip the locking and spring loaded. I hate the fact that they're spring loaded. I always rip those damn springs out, but you know, some people love them. So here you go. Thank you for all your support, dude. You win a whole bag of stuff. All right, another name that I have seen around the block for a really long time is Elk 2K, ELC 2K. Uh, my favorite Klein tool is the six in one extended screwdriver. I use it a lot. Boom, thank you, dude. Thanks for all the support, all the comments, all the messages, and for following through this whole journey and being everywhere, being a part of all of it. I really do appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. 
All right, next up we've got Marco J Elec 87. My favorite tool that I use a lot is the Klein Live Circuit Tracer with the two attachments for uh, bulb sockets and alligator clips for wires. Totally agree, I love that thing. Thank you as well. Another name that I see um, usually when we're doing podcast recordings or <laughs> like fireside chats, I see your icon and your name a lot. So thanks for uh, thanks for like being a contributing member and actually being here for the things that I'm doing. All right, next winner is Ladderman. My favorite client tool is the Beater Flathead Infinite Numbers of Users. Uses, not users. Uh, yeah, dude, I totally agree. So, you get a bag. All right, and dude, again, I see your name, I see your face all the time. I really appreciate you being here. Being a member that's like saying stuff and contributing into the community, it really, like, it means a whole lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Merry Christmas, Merry, happy, all of the things, all of the holidays. Um, love you crazy people, and I'll see you in the next one.